Now, Karen Andrews, you, uh, thanks for joining us. You were friends with Stuart Robert. How do you see his legacy in terms of the contest tonight and the way he's departed the parliament? Look, um, I've, I've worked very closely with uh, Stuart over a number of years, as have all of my coalition colleagues as, uh, as well. He's been the member here for a number of years and often when you have a retiring member, they take with them the personal vote. My expectations of the results that we're going to see coming through here tonight is that because we're facing 13 candidates in this election compared to seven in 2022, there will be a drop in the primary vote. So that is expected. Um, I would also say too, though, that uh, we have a seemingly popular Labor Prime Minister who is polling better than what he was at the last election. So if that were to play out here on the Gold Coast, then you would expect that there would be a swing to Labor. So I know that you can look at the history of by-elections, but if you also look at what's been happening with national polling, the expectation would be, in fact, that there would be a swing towards the Labor candidate. When you also look at the fact that for this by-election, Labor has put in a significant amount of effort. So there were many more people out at, uh, at pre-poll handing out. There were more people on polling booths. We had the AWU, we had the ETU at polling booths here today. They have worked very hard. So it will be interesting to see how this plays out. But I would expect that we should see a drop in uh, the primary vote as a result of the number of, of candidates. And it's entirely possible that we could see a swing to Labor. I hope that is not the case, but it may well be the case based on national well, Karen uh, Andrews, it, it's been put to me Labor only spent 50000 on this campaign and the LNP spent about 600000 So you'd expect a swing to the LNP because of that and the cost of living issues that people are feeling at the moment, wouldn't you? Well, cost of living has without a doubt been a significant issue. Uh, Labor has run the same candidate uh, this time as what they did in 2022. So they could use the same core flutes, they could use the same uh, T-shirts. So that would have been a, a cost saving to them. They've obviously been able to call on at least a couple of unions to support them on the uh, polling booths. But it's also important what is happening on the ground. And in Cameron Caldwell, you have someone with a very high name ID in the area of Fadden. He's been a local councillor for some 12 years. He is very well known. And I know that when I was standing on the polling booths, um, people were actually coming up asking for how to vote for Cameron uh, Caldwell, asking for LNP how to vote cards as well. So I think tonight is going to be an interesting uh, result, but um, I'm expecting that, uh, that we will see a, a cut to our primary vote for the LNP at uh, this by-election, but um, I'm still very confident that Cameron Caldwell will win the seat.